What's up? Rage Ring 578 here. Welcome back to Silent Hill 2. And we just got finished with Angela's Monster Demon, the Abstract Dadia. So, and, um, yeah, I can, honestly, I can't remember what's supposed to really come up next now. Well, I think I do, but honestly, I don't know. But when we got here, man, I actually didn't even realize where we were until, well, we got here. So. But, um, yeah, very cool boss fight, too, by the way. They, like, 110% better than the original game. Not saying that the original game was bad or terrible or anything like that. Honestly, I mean, it was just limited by the technology that it was it had. But, still, at the same time, uh, this, this, is, this, this is exactly what a remake needs to be. So, <clears throat> Sony, I hope you guys are doing your homework. I hope you guys see how a, a remake really is, but honestly, if people fucking ends up buying that Horizon Zero Dawn remake, quote unquote, or remaster, whatever, uh, then I mean, what's the difference, right? I mean, somebody, so, I mean, except for the people on PC, but the people on PS5 who bought Until Dawn, even though they've already played it again, and unless they really, really liked it, and they were, and they somehow justified spending a full price on a game that came out years ago then i have no idea man and it's literally they added new stuff but it's also a um like really just a reskin you know just better character models i guess or whatever whatever anyways so now we are in the labyrinth and this is something that is quite unique to the, this area that obviously as you see um if you notice the map is kind of like sketched out so James is going to pretty much be drawing the map uh, from this point on in this area. What the fuck? That is different. I feel like I know what we need, but gonna wait until we actually get there so like that I think we need the last weapon in the game so oh man it's been a crazy couple episodes not gonna lie so I'm on a recording screen it's the third episode I'm recording in a row um all right, where are we at now I do not even know so <laughs> What I do know, though, is definitely what's coming next. And what's coming next is going to be... Like, hey, if the last thing wasn't insane, this will be a little insane. Oh, man. But I wonder how they're going to do the weapon, though. Now I'm thinking about it. Because uh, in the last game, you can just... Like, James just shove wooden planks and pipes up his butt. And then you can just get out whenever you can. But we don't even have that anymore. Like, But then again, James is still butt shoving in this game, so... <gasps> Maria? Maria! I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt? Not at all, silly. But the thing. It stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator and then. James! What are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James? Honey? Did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So you are Maria. I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. Doesn't matter who I am. I 
I am here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? If you happen to make up your mind, I'll be waiting. I, uh, I'll find some way to. I'll come back. I promise. Okay, a few things about that scene. Number one, I'm not gonna even actually. I'm so y you probably have kind of gotten something out of that scene, all right? We did see Maria die in the hospital. She did get killed by Pyramid Head. Number one hundred percent true. The question is though, how was she there? Well, I'll, I'll without saying anything because obviously we'll I'll explain later. But you could probably tell Maria is not here the same as James and Angela and Eddie are here, you know? Um, Maria is different from, you know, the, 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 the dynamic trio who goes into Silent Hill, you know, Eddie, Angela, you know, James. So, she is different, but I'm not going to say anything yet. But if you kind of just pay attention to what she said, I am if you want me to be. Yeah. I remember this fucking puzzle. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. We gotta find the thing. With the... Yeah, I was gonna say, we gotta find the right door with the, uh, the hole here. Oh, but this is a lot darker than your other games, so... Yeah, it's just like you gotta find like the right angle to put this thing at. Unless it's like less complicated in the uh in this game. But yeah, but we are getting like I will go ahead and admit, so like this is gonna be the part where we're like, you know, throughout the game we're asking questions and questions and questions, right? You know, what's everybody doing here? Um, you know, what truth is, uh, you know, the notes that are direct did point directly pointing at James is saying, you know? And, of course, the biggest question is, where is Mary, you know? Uh, we're getting closer to that thing, but, um, but we're also, like, we're getting closer to answering a lot of questions. Okay. So, hold on to your butts gonna be a bumpy ride how about this can we even go through here no we can't okay <clears throat> let's go ahead and get through here all right we got a lot of roaches Are these things gonna like kill me or something if I step in? Bad my bitch. The fuck? Is that time already? are we man <laughs> I mean okay so actually I, I can already go ahead and tell you something right <clears throat> so and this is from what I believe personally and that's what I think 
but this entire area that we're in right now does not exist. We are kind of in the realm of what's real and what's not real. Um, and obviously, yeah, that, that's, that's all I understand at the moment, really. pretty tight rope we don't have anything to oh I think I know what we're gonna be using to cut that down though and yes I did meant to say cut because uh, we we've we've seen it before so again I'm just curious to know how it's gonna work in this game All right. let's see What's over here first? Something stomping around out there. Uh, we need a key. I think this is that area. I definitely think this is that area. No, it's not. What the fuck is that then? the fact that I don't know where it is. Oh, it's the Mandarin. Shit. I haven't seen you guys in a while. How you guys doing? Alright, really the best way to deal with those is running away. How this room goes into nothing. Alright. And we need to push this thing somewhere. But I was not looking high. Oh, there we go. goes back to the hallway.
Okay, interesting. So we got the lighter fuel, but now we need a lighter. Or something to set of flames. That's so strange. Somebody played through a door. Okay. Interesting. Alright. So we got the lighter fluid. Um, looks like there's another path on the bottom down there that we can go look and see. We need to go straight, take a left. Oh, it's so dark, I can't even see anything. I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I know where that's gonna lead to. Okay, fair enough. There we go. on the other side. You know, I'll it. We're going back in there. I want to see what's uh, that little gap at the bottom there. This leads to nothing. Shit. I guess we can go ahead and pour the fluid on there. Or not. Okay, so the news puzzle, this is the room that it originally took place in. That's pretty cool. Good one, Debs. I can barely see Jackson's squad. I cannot see anything. James, did you record all the places that we went through that I can't see? Dude, it is just, like, it is beyond dark, okay? It's just, fuck.
You know, I had a weird feeling that like this was gonna be here, but like I was like, maybe the game is not gonna be like that because it is just so ridiculously dark. Oh, nice. Found a lighter, too. Exactly what we needed. Yes, I guess we're just about done with this area, then. Unless, again, you know, there's a third thing that we need to get, which, you know, again, rules of three. Um, they need to get a chance to... How you doing? What made James, for the very first fucking time, be like, what the fuck? <sighs> oh, this is a random office? This must be where Pyramid Head works, you know, like, wh when he's not going around killing monsters to fight that, he has a he has literal desk job. Oh, I bet this for the room that we, uh having trouble to get into. Yeah, that room at the very top. Alright, yeah, this must be Pyramid Head's office. It's uh, pretty nice, actually. Kind of like it. I don't mind it. So, I should, uh, next time we meet him, I should let him know that I appreciate the, uh, that he, has a good, he has a good workspace. What the fuck? Blood on the walls and shit. Hey, yep. Oh no, scary. Totally not like, you know, a little bit annoying or anything. <laughs> Oh, and it must be where Pyramid Head takes his dookie. Fair enough. He had to have a key, you know, it's his own personal dookie bin. Oh, this is acid. Let's find a way to drain that then. Wow. The longest fucking narrowest hallway I've ever seen in my life. Connected to a toilet. Okay. 
This looks a little simple. Oh, and it's the actual letter, so we needed to come here anyways. Nice. Alright, we just go out here and take a right, and... Well, that's that. And, uh, yep, and I knew it, too. Three items, three threes, you know? Alright. the items. There we go. Alright, again, not what I expected to happen, but, you know, it, it is what it is, I guess. So. Okay, I was wondering, like, what that room went to. Back at the rotating cube. Okay. Um. Okay. Idea what I'm doing right now. So I, th I think I know where we need to go, uh, but I don't know how to get there. Alright, so we've never been over here before. Oh, nice. Okay, a little bonus area. I like that. next thing that we saw. Alright, so like it only goes down. And it leads to absolutely fucking nowhere. Love it. 
great job, me. Oh, wait a minute. No. Ah, Dickens. This looks different. You know, light. Comes out of nowhere. And I can't pull my map out. So we're definitely in the next area. Uh, it wasn't blue before, was it? Uh, there's no way of going back now. Of course, bring on the like bitches. Hey, like bitches. I missed you guys. Let's go ahead and save up. Right. I'm sure that wasn't anything scary. Oh my god, I think uh, that big slash, we've seen that before when Pyramid Head appeared. So it might be yeah something sounds like it's getting scraped along metal So quiet and blue. Yeah, I heard you, bitch. More scraping sound, man. Alright. So, let's go down the hole that we saw earlier and see uh, what else wants to kill us. Blooded level map. That goes up that ladder thingy. 
We need that key. Are you serious? Oh, damn. I don't think that's gonna be locked though. Alright. The only way forward is to go up that ladder. I would have thought we'd just grab the key, get the ladder, and bail out of here. That might be what the key is for. Ugh. Oh, whoop, wrong button. Yeah, not wrong button, but sort of wrong button. I'm taking her out first, bitch, and then you. Alright. <clears throat> okay, thank God. I thought I went to a circle in a circle for a second. I if I'm like very quiet, by the way. So like, I'm recording for like almost three hours now. I'm getting a little fatigued, but at the same time, I'm like just trying to figure out like what's going on, where I'm supposed to go, etc., etc. And it's super dark, so I'm like paying extra attention. I see you. Come on. Oh, you like that? You're like, uh Man, if James watched them anime, they'd probably go like, ooh, ooh. That. What's over here, though? A locked door. That's what's over there. Okay, cool. Now we want to go back to that one area that had the uh, handcuff. I can remember where to go. Oh, okay, this is it. <laughs> Let's 
Was that slash here before? I felt like I would have noticed it, and I'd be like, well. Alright. But yeah, it, it really does seem like Pyramid Head is here somewhere. Because again, the last time we saw the, the slashes and stuff like that, back at the apartments. Um, then we had a boss fight with them. Damn. That, that's, that looks like it hurt. Gotta appreciate the ragdoll physics of the game too. Like I noticed that enemies will like lean up against walls when they die. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Spider sense is tingling, bitch. I heard Pyramid Head, you know, is dragging a big ass sword around. See where that goes. Let me put this up real quick. The thing is, I can actually come back to the hole if I want to. Sounds like he's just on the other side of this wall. That is pretty cool, though. So. It's like seeing the slashes he's making on the walls and then just like hearing him throughout the uh, thing. That's eerie, man. That's how you do atmosphere, bro. Just the sounds, too. Not just the visuals. And I think a lot of devs missed, missed out on that, too. Like when they're trying to make a horror game, they just rely on the visual scare and not like sound audio scare. Oh, shit. Are you serious? I gotta go back down again? Not that I don't like this area or think it's boring, it's just that it's so fucking dark. <laughs> yeah, something tells me that we're almost uh, gonna meet him again. I wanna see what's over here first. Really? point of crying about it. It's gonna keep going. I need to find a way to get through that thing. Oh, I think I know what. I'm hearing footsteps. I think this is... Oh shit! He's here! Knew it! Go, 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 go! Pyramid Head, why? Why, Pyramid Head? So yes, yeah, so after all the crap that Pyramid Head has put me through, we are getting ready to finally face him. And I will leave off with a little, I guess, little tease. But, um, but if you kind of notice that, like, you know, when we last saw Maria before, you know, 
we saw her die, you know, Pyramid Head was there. We saw her again, and Pyramid Head is there. Uh, all I'm gonna say is that there's a link between the two. Believe it or not, I mean, there's a huge link, like, literally, uh, there's a huge link between James, uh, Maria, and Pyramid Head all together. But we just gotta keep, keep, keep going. I need I, so that's not the room I thought I was actually going to. That was like a little bonus. Let me see where this fucker's at. First of all. We gotta come through here. I didn't think you were actually gonna come through here though, my guy. Alright. We're gonna have to 360 him. Come on! And just like the boss fights and all the other times you ran into him, there is no killing him. There's no reason to even try to fight him. Alright, we need to go into that room and get out. So little uh teaser it's not really even much of a teaser but just something else that this is actually pyramid head like um you know i kind of joke about you know the dusk and all that stuff but uh this is actually like where pyramid head resides He's like oh hey james pussy you're not gonna come over here. So, but hey, at least we can get, finally get a good look at him. So, yeah. Again, I really like how, like, in the original design and in this game, they made him the same height as James. And not, like, eight feet tall like the other games. Uh, like, obviously he's supposed to be menacing, but I just find it creepier that the fact that he's just the same height. And he's really freaking strong, too. I like how they let us get a good look at him as well. Like bitch? Is that you? No, it's nurse. Alright. Hey nurse. Turn around. What the fuck? I thought I killed you. Oh my god, I can't see Jack and shit. Where's the lever? The lever's for Trevor. Huh, wire cutter. Oh, it's, I think that's what we're gonna use for that fence down there. You can't be up here too now, can you? I mean, I don't see why you can't, but like, at the same time, like... Oh, I almost missed this somehow. I want to go back here and see what that room is. Okay. Oh, there's something in here. Find our way back to that cut or that gate cut 
uh, defense, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I kinda forgot how to actually get back there. And I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here because, yeah, got to reach that hour point anyways, and I need, I need a little break, so. But yeah, man, shit's, shit's getting tight. So, just like how we, uh, confronted and faced Angelus, you know, monster, I guess. Uh, as I said, we're getting to that part where James is definitely gonna start, you know, going face to face with Pyramid Head. But it's not gonna be anything how you expect, really. Unless you know what's going on and stuff like that, it's gonna be completely different. It's, it's fucking, fucking good. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.